as a lifelong author, I have often drawn inspiration for the more chilling of my tales from my own experiences as a young man living in Louisiana after the Civil War. Oh, but the story of Ezekiel Halloway, that I have not dared tell before now. In October of 1879, Zeke was unmarried and ever the dreamer. Years spent in orphanages had taught him nothing if not self-reliance, but the endless struggle to find employment increasingly took him beyond the outskirts of New Orleans itself, even into the surrounding unfamiliar countryside. So it was that on this particular cold and dreary afternoon, he found himself at a rather remote and mournful estate, inquiring about the position of assistant caretaker. <clears throat> He certainly looks like a nice young man. Young beggar, more likely by the looks of him. Aye, beggar or not, we ain't in no position to be choosy. Do you think he's ready for something like this? We'll see how he holds up under fire soon enough, I reckon. Enough already. Let us introduce ourselves. That's gonna leave a mark. Hurry now! She will be expecting him! He's back! Oh, I hope he's feeling better. Uh. I told you he'd be on his feet again in no time. Come! We have done our part for now. We have done now. She is on home. Awakened now from troubled sleep, you find yourself where shadows creep. The mansion hides its history. But solve you will this mystery and find the truth that's buried deep beneath these halls where spirits weep. Oh, I, child, am Madame Leota, speaker of the spirit world, medium of the mysterious, and seeker of things unseen. <laughs> I know why you're here even better than you do yourself. Assistant caretaker it is, and you are Ezekiel, but you prefer Zeke. <laughs> we couldn't just have the newspaper ad read, Wanted, brave soul to rid haunted mansion of evil spirits now, could we? <laughs> If we had, you wouldn't be here now. And the fate of this house and all who dwell within it would be sealed forever. This house was once home to many friendly ghosts, but a powerful, evil man named Atticus Thorne has taken over the estate, corrupting the memories of many of the ghosts and turning others into evil spirits to serve his will. Our beloved mansion has become a dark and foreboding place, and we are now Thorn's prisoners, locked within it. But our hope lies with you, Zeke. We need your help to defeat this evil and to rescue our ghostly friends. An ancient artifact will aid us in this effort. A sacred lantern known as the Beacon of Souls. It is a source of light and power and can be used uh, okay. to battle any yeah. evil forces we encounter. Unfortunately, Thorn will also be using his dark magic to try and stop us. He'll be creating magical barriers throughout the mansion and twisting the very rooms themselves until we can turn on the lights and undo his spells. While not all of our foes fear the light, it will weaken the lesser evil spirits and force them into hiding. Once found, these shriveled souls can be chased from their hiding places and drawn into the beacon. Here, the soul's corruption will slowly be reversed, returning them to their good and former selves. As the good power of these souls increases in the beacon, their energy will enable us to break down the magical barriers that Thorn has erected. Then, we may gain access to more areas of the mansion. 
But there is more I have to tell. <clears throat> the primary source of the beacon's power lies in the six sacred gems that adorn it. They are called soul gems. Now, to keep them out of Thorn's hands, I had my ghostly friends hide five of them somewhere in the mansion. And the beacon still has one soul gem in place. This allows it to function, but very weakly. So we must find the other five to restore its power completely. I'm sorry if you find this confusing, Zeke, but I'm afraid we have little time and much to do. I'll ride along in your satchels, so hold it open and I'll just roll- Oh! oh! Wait, wait, oh, uh, you don't need to- Fingerprints! Watch the fingerprints! The light switch is over there. Use the activate button on the switch to light up the room. Uh-oh. Fight off these evil spirits with a rapid shot by pressing the fire button. To attack a specific enemy, hold down the lock on button. There we go. Now that the lights are on, you'll be less afraid, and your bravery measure will reflect this. With the lights on, find shriveled souls by searching objects. Then, pull them into the beacon by holding down the soul collector button. To pull more than one shriveled soul at a time into the beacon, tap the soul collector button once for each soul before holding it down. Congratulations! You found part of an old death certificate. Collect all the pieces and take them to the proper friendly ghost to earn a reward. Once you've collected all the shriveled souls from a room, you're ready to explore more of the mansion. Press activate to open the door.
As we travel through each room in the mansion, the energy of souls long past still lingers. And sometimes, this energy will allow me to communicate with those souls in the afterlife. By channeling them, I may be able to gain hints and clues that will help us in our journey. When the easy way you cannot climb, a crooked path could save you time. 